All right. So, much ado has been done about the whole flat Earth conspiracy theory. Basically, this conspiracy theory is we never went to the moon in 1969, and therefore all the images and all the video that we have from the time, that's all just totally fake. And it's impossible to go to the moon or something, some variation of that. So, I have a challenge for anyone who says, well, the space program never happened, bruh. Just live with it. It's all fake. Viewers doesn't exist or whatever. I want you to explain one simple event. I want you to explain the Apollo 11 mission specifically. Explain how the footage from the moon would be faked in real time in 1969, the broadcast on the television. So there's a couple problems that you might notice right, right away. In 1969, computers did not exist that were capable of CGI and they're not capable of rendering video in real time. Computers in 1969 were the size of this entire room behind me. They were massive, super expensive affairs. Like, you could not just buy a personal computer back in the day. And even then, a computer that was designed for a business or an organization like NASA in 1969 was barely capable a handling set. In fact, your TI-84 graphing calculator has more memory than the Model 700 series or its related cousins that were used in the space program. So explain. So that means that you're pretty much limited to altering film reels in real time or filming things in a stage without anyone noticing. And also, you also have to figure in the fact that there was one of the astronauts who dropped a hammer and a feather on the moon. There's no atmosphere on the moon and gravity is lower there. So you have to explain how they faked dropping a feather and a hammer and they both landed at the same time. There's no air resistance and they both have the same terminal velocity on them and why they both dropped slower than they would on Earth, which is 9.8 meters per second per second of acceleration. So you have the fact that there was no CGI in 1969 to contend with, and you have to deal with the fact that there are physics experiments that show that the conditions in the area that they're filming are not the same as on Earth. So you have to explain why there's lower gravity in that clip, and you have to explain why there's no air resistance in that clip, and then you have to explain how all this was faked in real time before CGI existed. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what great technological fantasy you're going to bring up, because I inevitably know that it's going to be all excuses and question begging, maybe not even seriously intending to answer the question, because I know you people generally, you're not all there upstairs, you don't really understand how logic works or reasoning, and that's why you've got to this position. But I'd at least like to see if you have an explanation for all of this. And yeah, that's basically my challenge to you. Explain the footage that was published live, that was put up live of the Apollo 11 mission in 1969 with core memory, which is literally magnetic rings to store bits, was a thing. Explain how that was done before CGI existed, before personal computers existed, in real time, which we still can't do reliably, and explain how the experiment showed there was no atmosphere where the astronaut dropped the feather of the hammer and why there was lower gravity there. Because if you're going to say that this was faked and staged and all that, then the stage would have to have no atmosphere and somehow would have to have about one-sixth of the gravity of Earth. You'd have to explain both of that and you'd have to explain how all of the footage going to the moon which was broadcasted live, and all the stuff that was broadcasted live on the moon was faked in real time. Good luck to that. Good luck on that mission. I don't exactly rate your chances of, su of success very high. And yes, I am an expert on old technology. That's why I am a retro provision. I am very interested in this old technology and how it works. And I will have a physical
physicist friend who will check in on your physics-related responses. And even though he's currently going through high school and college learning physics, I'm sure he knows more about physics than you do if you believe that we didn't go to the moon. Also, another thing I'd like for you to explain, using real-life physics and an analyst analysis of the actual technology that is purported to be used in the Saturn V, explain how the Saturn V could not have gone to the moon. Explain how it's impossible because science is about, oh, some person said it, therefore it's true. It's about showing that you're right and disproving claims that you think are false. If it's really fa a false claim that we could go to the moon with the Saturn V, I want you to disprove it. Do what science actually wants you to do and disprove the narrative. Should be easy, right? You've got all the facts on your side. You did your research on Facebook, and that means that your that your uh, that your beliefs are absolutely true, right? So looking forward to it. Not. We'll see. Take care. Toasty out.